when you look at these pictures, you see a few things. You see lots of tracks. If you look carefully, you can see that the tracks curve because they're in the magnetic field. Uh, you can also see they have different colors. That has to do with the number of electrons that got knocked off in the gas, so that tells us a bit about the species of what we see there. One of the things I think that's also really quite interesting is that when you look at some of these pictures, sometimes there can be several thousand particles coming out. Okay? Four or five thousand particles coming out. Now we started out with two gold nuclei in the form of uh, essentially 200 protons and neutrons in one gold nucleus, 197. So two gold nuclei come together, they bring about 400 protons and neutrons in. How do we go from 400 protons and neutrons in to 4 to 5,000 particles? Anybody got a good guess? How do you go from 400 to 4,000? Tear apart the protons and neutrons. Okay, you, te you tear apart the protons and neutrons, they have quarks inside them. So there's three quarks in a proton or neutron. So we start out with 1,200 quarks. Those quarks get pulled apart and they recombine long before we take this picture. Okay. So even, even if they did recombine, you still only have 1,200. It's still less than 4,000 by per bit. So something's still missing. The binding energy. The binding energy? You're, you're on, the, on the right track here. So you guys are actually all familiar with Einstein's famous equation. So, e equals mc squared. The e is, and the m is. So the equation says that you can take energy and you can make mass from it. So what happens in this collision? We start out, we pump a lot of energy into the speed of these particles, the gold nuclei in the beginning, a lot of directed motion energy, kinetic energy. For a very brief period of time during the collision, that energy becomes random motion, which is heat and temperature. Okay, and as it starts to cool down, that energy goes somewhere that energy, a lot of it, goes into the form of new mass that wasn't there before. Particle-antiparticle pairs getting created out of that energy. So in each of these collisions, you are seeing Einstein's equation in action, energy being made into mass that wasn't there before. We are making new mass. That wasn't We're there just before. making new mass. We're making new mass. Particle-antiparticle pairs. But I... I thought it can't be created or destroyed. Mass can be. Energy right, cannot be. Right, so, so you're just making mass from, from energy. Mass and energy. They're interchangeable. That's what the whole equation is. It hits you hard when it hits you, but it's <laughs> <laughs> mass, so mass is not conserved. And then what, what do you, what do you, mass is just one form of energy. What are you doing with it after you make it? It dissipates into the rest of the universe. So, but you have to remember that this is a very small amount. This is nothing like the amount of energy involved in the, the Big Bang, if that was the case. This is the amount of energy of the two mosquitoes colliding that were distributed into the universe, and this happens all the time.